So augmented reality is a great technology that enables a wide variety of applications. Fundamentally, it turns your device into a sort of magic window of sorts where you can see other information when you look through your device that you couldn't otherwise see. Hello, Avnel Goen, Texas Instruments. What we are going to discuss now is augmented reality, what it can do for us, why it's good, and how we actually do it on a normal device. Take a look first of all at the scene. If you notice on the scene, you see a small room. But if you look at actually through the tablet, what you are seeing is a different scene. Do notice this chair. This chair doesn't exist in reality. It's an artificial chair that we have been put on side. Let me actually touch the place, and you can see I'm touching the place where the chair is supposed to be, but there is no chair. It's not as simple as it looks. We are taking a computer-generated object and overlaying it on a specific location on a video input. And as we move around, you notice the TV and the chair stay in the right location. So the computer really registers a computer-generated object on a video incoming stream. So because of the technical advancements in these mobile phones, because of the incredible GPUs and CPUs that companies like Arm are able to, to create, we can make a mobile phone understand objects in the real world. We, we see augmented reality as having all sorts of uses. Advertising is an interesting early example, but we see it becoming much more uh, involved in all sorts of things from gaming to user interfaces to new classes of, of application as you're in, engaging in the environment. So you can, you can go anywhere from education, training, e-commerce, advertisements. You've got people putting instructional videos on routers. You've got people tagging up the insides of um, engines on cars with explanations on what the different things do. Uh, you've got teachers who've tagged up their classrooms with amazing footage of their kids explaining these really beautiful pictures that they've created. So there was an application that was designed to help people get over phobias. And I saw this, you actually had the device and you would point it at your hand and it would visualize like a tarantula crawling around your hand. It was for people to try and get over their fear of bugs. We've seen quite a few on books that make books come alive and it's kind of a modern day digital pop-up book. But I think my favorite remains what we did with Sesame Street. While it's not commercial, it's still a prototype. The whole notion of a 3D toy or an action figure just coming to life in full 3D when I look through my device and interacting with other toys is pretty amazing. So we see this technology is very important. It couples very well with GPU compute. Uh, I think the, you're going to see a lot about GPU compute over the next few years and it coupled with augmented reality is going to enable us to, to have a new class of application, a new concept of interactivity really. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to see more and more content associated with more and more objects and we'll reach the expectation where if I want to get more information about a product, I'll just point my device at it to get that additional information. If I want to learn how to use something, I'll point at it and I'll get more instructions for how to do it. When we start looking at the 10 year time frame too, then I think probably we're talking about some kind of head mounted display or glasses and I think those do get compelling once there is a critical mass of content and it's maybe a little cumbersome for me to have my device or phone or tablet in front of me all the time.